Haney Pro Grade too in December. Who you think is? I already up? said this. Look, I love Devin Haney. I love Pro Grades. I feel like if Pro Grades don't cut off that ring, he don't got a chance in hell against Devin Haney. Mm. Cause Devin Haney can box his butt off, and he ain't no slouch. He got power. He's fast. He's uh very, very, very crafty. And it's like Regis is just very rugged and tough. So if he go in there thinking he's just gonna just hunt Devin Haney down and hit him hard, it's like, well, first you gotta first you gotta hit him. You gotta catch him. And if he don't do that, I think Devin Haney will be perfectly comfortable just moving around, boxing him, and winning his unanimous decisions that he always wins. And so Haney pro grace this pay per view. Do you, do, you, do you think Haney wins that fight? Any thoughts on that fight, Leonard? Yeah, I like him. I like him in that fight. Yeah. Haney's a good fighter. I'm sure you're dying to see that fight, right? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, oh, Grace is a puncher. You like punchers, right? I, I, I don't know about that one. Do you think Devin can withstand the power of Pro Grace moving up to 140? I, 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 I have no opinion on that one. You got another good fight coming up, Devin Haney versus Pro Grace. Oh, that's a good one, too, yeah. man. I, David, down, I know baby. David Haney. He's a, he's a good friend of mine. Um, progress too. Um, I don't know. It's gonna be a good fight, bro. A good fight because David Haney. I think he's gonna be boxing him around. Progress. He's he's an aggressive fighter. He kind of reminds me like of a Mexican fighter, and um, plus he hits hard. So you can't count him out. Fabrio Matias, IBF, 140 pounds champ. Um, can I get your thoughts on um, Devin Haney possibly moving up to fight um, Regis Progress? I want this fight. I like uh, uh, Devin Haney in this fight. You think Devin's gonna beat Regis? Yeah, I think he got good technical, but he no got heart. What makes you say he doesn't have heart, man? That's my name. He's he kicking. <laughs> yeah, he's running a lot. Gotcha. Um, and Devin Haney, I want fight you. Please give me the opportunity. It's a 50-50 because both of them got flaws that can make a fight go either way in a drop of a hat. First of all, you got eight ounce gloves. A woman, like I said before, a woman can wind up a, a punch and, and get anyone's attention because of the size of the gloves. That's one main X factor. Regis Pro Grade got the punching power to make the fight go victorious for him. I believe Devin Haney, he has the same. He don't have that uh, power, but he got position punch power. But you know, sharpness. They say speedy with power. I believe he got that type of talent, um, boxing style. Um, Regis Pro Grade, he throw punches with but a benefactor to him is that he throw punches and bunches. He throw numbers and, and volumes and et cetera, things to that nature. Devin Haney, on the downside of that, you saw in the Lomachenko fight that he was a smaller guy moving up a weight class, but what that smaller guy did that was a technical um, game for him was to punch in bunches, punch in volumes. Threes, Haney, somewhat of a problem. So it's like a tailor-made fight, a style versus style. And, you know, they say styles make fights. So Regis, if he fight the way he normally fight, punches and bunches, throwing shots and volumes and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure he can give Devin Haney a little bump in the road. As far as Devin Haney, he can outbox Regis and land a clean shot because he's a precision fighter, you know, technical, but more so a counter. He got a good sharp jab good footwork. He come in shape to go all 12 rounds, you know. He got a lot of heart. At the heart of a lion, you know. So, he's been hurt. His chin been tested and he then came through and still finished out victorious. Got the W. You know, that was due to him being determined. You know, a warrior-like mindset. Um, uh, I mean, Devin has all the skills and ability to me that he could be anybody. Progress is, you know, a good Southpaw fighter, but more the more skillful fighter I think is Devin. Uh, I think you know Haney. I think he made amazing decision to be in, to to move to to move up to 140 because the weight he kind of made 
any more 125. It's very difficult for him. He's a young guy. So, and I think it's no easy fight for him, but I think he can, he can, he can be the, he can be by decision. I don't think he would that fight want to finish and by KO, but he have a lot of potential. And, and, and I think I can see in him, he, this is the best moment for him. He need to enjoy that. Because in 140 is a lot of good boxer. And he tried maybe to move to 147, mm. it's not the same, you know? Let's see what kind of, what kind of fight he wanna make in 140 right now. At 140, do you think, <laughs> I know you mentioned kind of after your fight with him that you didn't feel his power really. Do you think at 140 his maybe power yeah. got a little better? Yeah, look at me. Remember when I, when I, when I, when I started to training with Salas? So, and I, and I made better, better fight, better uh, knockdown in the gym and the fight because he, he, he gave it to me, he pushed me something different. Don't jump in too much and sit down and the, and the chaos is coming. Mm -hmm. So, and I think is is Hainish, he changed something, maybe he can be better. Mm -hmm. And you can feel his, his punch. But it's the pain, it's the pain with who? Mm -hmm. Depend the coach, it's depend his father, it's depend what kind of training he wanna make and everything like that, mm -hmm. you know? But I think he can be better than 140, 100%. Mm -hmm. I don't got no uh, pick for that. Uh, um, I'm real cool with Regis, so uh, uh, hopefully uh, Regis can do something to get the victory. Jojo and uh, Loma were able to land some left hands on Devin in that southpaw stance. Do you think Regis will be able to do the same, or Devin, you know, getting better and he won't be as easy to hit with those kind of shots? I think Devin might feel better at uh, 140. Uh, I think he probably feel a little bit better as um, far as the weight, and he's not uh, sucking himself down, so. Maybe he feels better at 140, and maybe he do beat Regis, but he do um, have a little trouble with South Park, it look like. If, if Pro Grace won that fight, are you like, I still want to fight Haney anyways because of it's gotten personal now, or you're moving on at that point? Uh, I don't know. It, it don't matter to me. I fight anybody, so. Um, <laughs> long as the money and the business and everything makes sense, uh, sign me up. Uh, so is, is that safe to say that you would want uh, Devin to win against Regis Progress? Or? Are you just promoting it? No, no, no. no. <laughs> do you think he care. wins that fight? Yeah, I do. Um, but I like I like Regis' mentality and all that. But I think Devin will win. Yeah. Regis uh, versus Devin Haney. Yeah, that's a great one. What, what, I'm going to be that? looking at that fight very carefully. I think I think Progress is a is a is a hell of a fighter. I think Haney's just a, a, a superb talent, and I think that yeah, possibly the winner uh, uh, can uh, can get it on with Ryan next. Well, hopefully, maybe we'll see. That's an interesting fight. Um, Progre, all, although he is a champion, he still seems he seemingly has a lot to learn. Um, and I think that's what Haney them sees. Uh, I was watching. I was watching. Oh, I was actually watching Pro Grey last night, and I was watching this fight against Zaria, um, and Zaria, and I was noticing certain things that he wasn't doing, um, and I was noticing certain things that, and I and I'll allude to it later. I don't want to allude to it now because he's getting ready for a fight, and I don't want to really, you know what I'm saying. I don't want to step on anybody's toes and expose a kid like that yet, just yet. But I will once my breakdown come out, but. Um, there's some things that he still needs to learn. And and I think Haney and them, they see it. They see it too. Uh, if he comes in there, if he changes some of those things or if he learns from his mistakes, then he has a damn good chance of beating Haney. Uh, but I could just tell you this, he he can't be nice. And he got to be a lot meaner than what he what he showed in the, the Zarelia fight uh, because – he wasn't physical enough. He, you know, Haney is not going to allow you to fight. Haney's going to fight at his pace. Haney is longer than he is. Haney, Haney can move. Uh, I see a lot of videos of Haney, you know, moving side to side, you know, trying to really build his agility up, build his strength up in that fashion. So, you know, it's going to be a boxing match that he's going to put on. He's going to put on a hell of a boxing display. And Pro Grey got to be ready for that. You know, Pro Grey going to have to – there's going to be chances with times where Pro Grey going to have to sell out. And, and he's going to have to fight and he's going to have to get gritty and he's going to have to get nasty. He's going to have to be the Rougarou in order to beat Haney. You know, he's going to have to hurt Haney. You know, that's the only way I see him winning. He's going to have to hurt him. He's going to have to knock him out. He's going to have to put him on the canvas. He's going to have to buzz him. He's going to have to pressure him all night. That's what he's going to have to do. 
Because Haney, again, is going he's only going to outbox him. Too tactical, too clever, too smart. Just fought at, has fought at a high level. He's been here before. He's not spooked. He just got he just got in the ring, got a close one with uh with um uh, with Lomachenko. You know, but personally, I feel that both guys have a lot to lot to lot to prove. You and know, uh, I'll both, be on. They, oh, go ahead. They, yeah. No, they both coming off a of suspect. You know, victories, both of them. You know, um, so they got both got a lot to prove. So I'm, I'm expecting a really good fight. Uh, I, I would say 50 50, 50 50 down the middle. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna say 50 50 down the middle, man. I'm gonna say 50 50 because Pro Gray got a puncher's chance, man. He got to hurt Haney. Haney, first time at 140. Um, he definitely gonna feel the difference in, as, as far as punching power goes. He's definitely gonna feel the difference. You think uh, Haney will have any more punching power being at forty? No. Okay. no, 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 not at all. I, I, you know, when you either have it or you don't. He's not a puncher like that. He he got respectable power, good timing, like he can buzz you. But you know those one hitter quitters. You know I've only seen one, and I think it was against the the Mexican fighter. I forget his name. Where he, Antonio he Moran. Him, Moran Antonio, when he caught him. Yeah. See, look at you, man. You an encyclopedia, bro. <laughs> look at you, man. Um, yeah, but I've only seen one of those, but. You know, and he caught him perfectly over with overhand right. But no, nah, he no, yeah, I don't think he's gonna have more power. Uh, I think you know, I think that that would be you know a great fight for Devin. You know, Regis, uh, you know, not, not you know, not looking past you know Regis, you know, for him at all. You know, Regis is a you know a champion for a reason. He's been a he's been a force, you know, in in the you know uh, junior welterweight division for a while now. Um, you know, so it, that's a uh, that's a great fight, you know, for that division. And uh, I think it's, it's a great fight for, for Devin. Yeah, I think he's I think he's a way better fighter, a way more skillful fighter. So, um, hopefully, I get the shot first. I, I never really thought too much about um, about Regis. I just feel like Regis is a pretty fighter, and he got experience. But I feel like Devin is uh, Devin on a whole different level. Huh? It's just Devin Chin. Can he really be called Chin if he's never been knocked down or knocked up? Yeah, but he been hurt by guys that ain't punching like Regis. So. Hurt like once against Lenore. Yeah, you're right. But I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't really want to talk. I, I, I just feel like Devin a better man in that fight. What do you think of Regis and Haney? That's in your division. Uh, it's a good fight. You know, I, I just think Haney's gonna outbox him. You know, um, everyone's knocking Regis from his last performance when he fought Zoria, but but you know, uh, Haney still, you know, he still, still. I mean, uh, Regis still has power, man. So who knows? I can't wait to see it. It's a great bout. Two world champions going at it and it's going to be very exciting the boxing um capability of of dev um ragaru is is coming he's a a force he, he's coming to really try to break you up and and get you out of there the classic scenario of boxer versus puncher i'm looking forward to it i couldn't I can't wait for that one. How exactly does it play out? I mean, you know, obviously Devin wants to stay on the outside and, you know, Regis wants to come in close and, like you said, break his guy up. So how exactly do you see it playing out, man? Well, I I'll tell you this much, nephew. The, the, the boxer, the athlete who puts his capability on the line and controls the atmosphere the best will be the winner. If Devin can control him with his jab, uh, with his combinations, with his movement, with it, with his uh, boxing uh, IQ, he'll win. If um, Ragaru comes in and and marauds him and and roughs him and puts undue pressure on him, he'll win. So it, it's going to be very interesting to see. Who would you say at least? has the edge would you say is Devin because of his skills or do you think that physically um Regis can kind of overpower all of that skill set just because he's so strong and he hits so freaking hard uh, and it's also Devin's first fight at 140 pounds well see those are key factors 
Devin's moving up. Um, Regis has been at 140 his whole career. Um, and he's had fantastic success there. Uh, it's, it's really, really hard to say. I give the advantage to Devin just because his skill set is very, very good. Uh, but if he allows Reeds to walk him down and get close and bang him up, it could be a very long night.